Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Enter the Gungeon, the Lich Streak version chronicles. We're on a streak of 57, 57, that's what my sheet says, and I am cool with that. Let's get to 58, roll our D8, and we are gonna have ourselves a f easy freebie, potentially, unless we let it get to our head, which is totally something that can happen. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm, I'm in a, a new place with the gunslinger. I like him. I, I appreciate him. I want to protect him. I want to tell my friends about him. No, I, uh, I like him quite a bit now, just because it's easy to get a run where you're gonna have something fun and distinguishing. It makes it like set itself apart from a normal run, just because synergies are, you know, they're what I would consider to be like the big bread and butter. The B, 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 if I were to say. The big bread and butter of what makes, you know, runs stand out and be unique. Oh, and you know what? The gunslinger can do this little thing called get every freaking synergy that every single gun has forever and always. So, that being said, I don't want another run where we get the flare gun right away because we have had that a couple times recently. We had that on our duct tape every gun run, so I guess, like... But that doesn't really count, because we kind of had everything on that, huh? We kind of had everything on the duct tape every gun run. But, I don't know. That It's it's a really good gun, and I like it a lot. I kind of want a different good gun. I, like, you know, I feel like we can get another, another good basic gun with a lot of fun synergies. We'll see. We'll see, though. Don't you do it to me. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. I would love to be able to open that blue chest because if it was a gun, you know, blue chest guns, actually really good territory for the gunslinger. Like, I almost feel like I'm almost more excited to get bad chests, bad tier chests as the gunslinger because you're guaranteed to get the synergies for the guns. So therefore you can get, you know, situations where you get to utilize guns that you maybe don't normally utilize. Like black pistol is actually not bad. That being said, you get it. You get both of the synergies. Or two, or th I think there might be even be three. You definitely get the two synergies. And it's pretty good, but it's still, like, not even amazing. As, as far as the basic guns... Basic guns gone good? It's it's not on the top tier, in my opinion. It's not up there with, like, the cactus. It's not up there with the flare gun. It's not up there with uh, this, that, and the other. I'm sure there's more. Oh! My roll almost didn't make it there. Almost had egg upon my face. But we are almost at our first chest. I mean, we're gonna... We could buy the plague pistol. And it's not dumb. But it's also not like what I really want to do. So I'll probably just end up going to buy that key. See what we're working with, though. Exploding sharks? are something that uh, that strikes my fancy. So I guess maybe we'll see if we can get that amount of money before the end of the floor. It's not looking likely. Doesn't look impossible, but it also doesn't look likely. Need a big old 50 piece or something, right? At this point. Is the boss really gonna drop? Oh, I mean, that's a good start. That's a good start. We'll do one of these chests. Jetpack is... I don't think it's really something we should be using on this fight, but I'll do it anyway. I'll do it for the hell of it. I mean, for this phase, who cares, you know? Get to move around a little bit quicker. Helpful here. And you do generally just want to be far away from it, but I, I'll, be, I'll be real. I think that I'm going to get hit because of the jetpack here today. I'm, you know, maybe I'm crazy. Maybe the jetpack is exactly what you need for the optimal Gatling dual experience. Oh, it's close though. Oh, my God. Jetpack! I could turn it off at any point, but I feel like I can't. I feel like it's, I can't use any blanks and I can't turn it off now. I feel like I just, I owe it to myself to, oh my gosh. To just absolutely do it to him. Oh, 
Okay. Okay, we take this. It, it's kind of the same general flair as the... As the, uh, the, the compressed air gun. Oh. Did we... I guess we didn't check for secret rooms, huh? Oh my god. Oh my god. He's done it. He's done it. He's got lucky. He's gotten freaking lucky. And we're out of here. Yeah, this is one of the ones that I, I actually don't know if I've ever had on the Gunslinger. I've had a lot of the synergies and they're crazy. <clears throat> Not sure if I've had it on the Gunslinger, though. Where we get them all at the same time. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. And it's a one run even more than it was before, son. This is crazy. This is gonna be crazy. Alright. Shadow clone? Don't mind if I do. That's actually gonna be even crazier. Doubling the uh, the amount of bonus cactus. Bonus cactus that we get. Probably extra keys, but maybe we'll go for, we'll, we'll go for the rat if we get enough money or if we get the ability to steal. But this is gonna be a freaking cakewalk. Like just it just it does way too much. It does way too much. Don't 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 take it away from me. But it does way too much. Okay, we will probably do that. We will probably do that because I feel like oh we got a wall, man. man. You gotta be kidding me. I feel like we are. Yep. Okay. I'm I'm really quite annoyed with how that uh, the, how that proceeded. The wall mimic followed by that is a little bit of a yikes for me. Not my favorite scenario there. Whoa! -ho. But oh well. Got curse bullets. Now we're really looking to. I'm itching to steal. I'm itching to get the. Uh, the sticky fingers, and not just because. Uh, are che do Cheetos are Cheetos supposed to give you sticky fingers? I mean, because I, I know they give you the cheesy, dusty fingers, but I had Cheetos the other day, and my hands were so sticky, and I was like, I don't ever remember Cheetos giving me sticky hands before. It's not st Oh, come on, that is so disappointing. Let's get a, some laser, double laser tigers up in here. Like, I know we can easily wipe the floor with them just by using the cactus. I'll we'll use the shadow clone to get some double laser tigers. This run is already off to a bang and start. We're not even done with the second floor. Hello, gunslinger. Why did I like you again? Oh, yeah. Is he challenging? No. <laughs> not he no, he ain't challenging. But that's fine. Not everything has to be a challenge all the time. That was a mimic. I love a good mimic. Ammo synthesizer. I love a good ammo synthesizer. I feel like that might play well with Shadow Clone to give us extra ammo back. I'm not positive on that one. Do not quote me. Never quote me. Retromation 2019. Triple clone action. Frames going south quickly. I'm afraid to summon another Shadow Clone again. Alright, okay. There, now we only, we only got the one. Having two extra Shadow Clones out is creating a disaster, and I love it. Ah, more curse. Means more damage. Also, it's like a pretty interesting synergy. I don't like love it, love it. And we did not get enough money for the Rat Key. That's fine. That's fine. Quite frankly, who needs it? I'm gonna get the gas mask. I don't know why. I don't know why. Okay. Boop, boop, boop. Throw it out. If we could get some extra, like, if we could get bouncy shots. I know that these are already bouncing off the wall a little bit, but bouncy shots to make them bounce uh, even more would be lovely. I'm sacrifice my clone to that room because there's nothing else I can do. See you in hell. I brought you into this world. Uh, time will take you out. 
Welcome to the world of a slow creep towards death, my friend, my child. Welcome. Hope everybody's in a chipper mood now. Huh. But anyway, what do we do? I mean, should we... <laughs> on the topic of chipper mood, let's answer a Discord question. I see I see the, the first question here. It's too, too on, uh, on brand here with this topic. Drax the Blanket Destroyer asks, Rito, what do you do when you feel depressed slash uninspired? It happens quite a bit. So, I mean, the easiest thing I do, the easiest thing I do is remove myself from the area that I'm in that's like I'm feeling the negative energy or whatever. First, like if you can, if you can. I remove myself from that area Largely the best way to do that the best results come from like going outside for a little bit Just going to completely clear your head any kind of like focusing on on breathing and everything could correct deep breathing is very very helpful as well uh, as I'm talking about just like obviously like the depressed side the anxiety side um, uninspired I feel like kind of goes hand in hand with it and what to do when you're uninspired is largely, I think, figure out why you're uninspired, if you can. Like, figure out, you know, where where that's coming from. A lot of times you can probably find that it comes from some kind of anxiety or, uh, you know, like, uh, depression or, or, or thinking about yourself in a negative light. So, a lot of times you can, you can try to start to tackle that in a similar way as you would to like an anxiety depression kind of thing i find for myself at least that, that that's the case can we steal a shadow clone i feel like i feel like i thought we could no uh, yeah i feel like that's a good place to start a lot of times um otherwise like being feeling uninspired you can just you know take a take a look at things that you you know make you happy but also make you feel good like there i think people you gotta locate a couple things in your life. Th things that make you happy and things that both make you happy and feel good. Because they're not the same. So it's like, give yourself those things where you're feeling happy, you know, when you need them. But also make sure that you find some things that maybe don't give you the same... I'm gonna... I wanna open that. The same raw happiness, like easy like oh i want to just sit and watch tv for the whole day like give yourself that every once in a while but like also make sure like just go on a little journey to find a, a couple things wow basic things that would be healthy for you like maybe cooking it a nice meal maybe going outside going on a little walk find like find yourself a a podcast or a video series that you really like and decide that you can only listen to that while you're going on a walk or only when you're on a treadmill or only when you're, you know, oh, this is a disaster. That I knew that was going to happen. I knew that was going to happen. Also, you are got to be kidding me. I think that that's a good thing to do. Yikes. All right. Well, I don't really care that we lost that health. It doesn't matter. Honestly, the frames really did it. Really didn't help there. Your boy got the shellatin key though, so it's all good. Ah uh, yes, heal my wounds. Heal my deep wounds. But yeah, I don't know. It's 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 all about reframing your mentality. I I've been dealing with a lot of that recently, and it's just like a big thing to to consider and to really pay attention to is think about how you talk to yourself. Think about the words you use and try to fit. Ooh, mama. Think about if you're, you know, like the way you're communicating with yourself is the way you would communicate with someone else who you were trying to help through a problem. Like if you, if like a kid, like, I don't know. If a, if a close friend that you like, it, you know, came up to you and was asking for, you know, advice or wants to know like what you think of xyz like think about how you would talk to them and then try to make sure you talk to yourself that way sometimes too if you if you need to feel better 
think about what kind of coaching you would respond well to and make sure that the things that you're telling yourself align with that coaching style, you know? Think about how you learn, think about how you get coached and the times where you've had the most success with that in other in other areas of your life. And then coach yourself that way or do your best to replace words that uh, that don't align with that coaching style. And hopefully you'll find some success. I don't know. It's a, it's it's been a it's been something I've been dealing with. So yeah, I got I got a lot. <laughs> that's why I had a lot to say about it is because it's very, very relevant to me, right now, right now. But we're in it. I love me the gungeon. I love me the YouTube. I'm never like uninspired in the way where I'm like I don't want to. I I don't want to make this because. I don't want to make YouTube videos because, oh, my views aren't high enough or, or whatever like that. It's never, it's never like that. It's always more just like, I feel like garbage and I feel like garbage because I feel like garbage. And it's like, it's, and that's a cycle that a lot of people who have a lot of uh, anxiety and stress have is that you're almost more anxious about the anxiety than you are about any tangible thing, which sucks. So I hear you there. I hear all of you who feel that way. Like, yeah, just have, having anxiety about anxiety or being, like, a lot of people are just depressed about being depressed and you just, like, you're in a cycle where it's like, I don't know how to get the hell out of that then because that, it, that just doesn't make sense. There's, but it does, it, you know? It, 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 it should mean, think of, try to think of it in a way where, you're, you know, there's hope then. There's hope. You got the mental clarity to, uh, to realize that you're not feeling well and you got the mental clarity to be disappointed about certain negative ways you feel you know like that's that's step one that's step one think about it that way but this is not the the Rito mental health podcast though it could be I honestly I could go for on for an hour or two or three but we also have the cactus that's shooting a lot of crazy things right now did you realize that this run is overpowered as hell uh oh there goes the frames. There goes the frames. Effective immediately. Uh oh. Oh yeah, that room. Well, that room's over. Okay. Ah, sticky crossbow. I'll actually. I'll buy it. I'll buy the dang thing. I'll buy all this dang things. Sticky crossbow with the synergy and that. Uh, hello? This is actually maybe going to be really, really good. Boop, boop, boom. Boop, boop, boom. There's more than one shot to get these enemies. If so, that's kind of, that's kind of strange. Pop on over with that, over with this. And we will melt the boss, and surely we'll take damage, because quite frankly, the boss damage cap is a thing, and, uh, well, the frames are gonna go away. If it's Warmonger, I say I got no chance. If it's Kill Pillars, I think I got myself a chance. Yeah, I think I have no chance of not taking damage, strictly just because of frames. Uh, but Rito, you get a C in slow motion. You're technically right. However, I'm also playing in slow motion, but I also don't have any screen visibility. Oh my god, we did it. Okay. Woo. Woo. Tetris Synergy. Okay. Okay. We take those. We take those. We can have fun with those. Ooh, Quack City asks, what is the secret to the rat? By the way, I have a different rat path than you. Most people do have a different rat. It, it actually is more uh, more unique if you had the same one. That'd be crazy if you had the same one. Uh, what's the secret of the rat? The secret of the rat? I don't have an answer to the secret of the rat because I guess I'm not I'm confused by the question, but I'll say that the secret of the rat is, uh, is learning his patterns. If you're talking about the secret of the rat fight, if you're talking about the secret of the rat floor, it's, you know, I've, that's well documented. You can you can Google Google that and get a better better clean response on how to unlock the floor and everything. 
but you know learning learning the fights just literally going just since it may be hard for you to get to the fight often if you're newer to the game uh, literally just the same thing I the same tip I always give for certain bosses is look up a video and literally just watch how the person handles it watch the attacks of the of the enemy and see how they respond to certain attacks down to you know down to certain dodges and you'll realize that some some things that maybe a move that you thought was really really hard is not actually too bad because you can you can dodge it in a certain cheesy cheesy way i hate that there's the darn cats in this room tetris blast tetris effect all right, get bombed. All right, we out of here. We out of here. We're going cactus style. Don't you do it to me. It's just so clearly the best thing we have. It's it, which is so fun because it's just so clearly not the best thing you'll ever have if you don't have any synergies. We can jump it. I can wreck it. I can fix it. I'm gonna wreck it. I can wreck it. Oh my god, we killed him before his arm showed up. Did we get, I think we took damage somewhere in there. Oh, the room's over. There's been a lot of that today. Just, oh, the room's done. You can shoot the bouncy balls up there. Hey, yep, hey, yep. Kind of like a crazy version of the the weapon named the bullet. <laughs> the weapon named the bullet, I say for clarification, because there's a lot of potential miscommunication that can be done with that one. The weapon named is the bullet. It's it's a lot like that, but uh, uh, a lot crazier. Oh, man. This, too. Like, if we didn't have the cactus and we had Ancient Heroes Bandana and all the synergies with this, that alone is such a run winner like there's a lot of good stuff today like and the scatter shot this is disgusting quite frankly and we have ammo synthesizer this is just this is just oh this is crazy ghost bullets sure don't worry it doesn't it doesn't have a disenergy with the gun i'm holding not that it would really even matter Still breaks the bullets on this one. But I feel like it's going to be crazy with the cactus. Yep. Yep. Extra crazy. Extra crazy. Wee. Who needs a frame? As long as there's one frame. That's all we need. We're never going to run out of ammo. Ancient Heroes Bandana is one of my favorite. Kind of like quote unquote boring items to get. Because it's just completely deleting the thought process of, of conserving any kind of ammo in any way is really fun. Despite it just being like a, a stat up item, it's really, it is, it is more than that in a way, you know? It lets you use certain guns that you would want to use in some scenarios. Oh my god. Uh, certain guns that you would want to use in certain scenarios, but don't want to because you want to save the ammo for XYZ, you know? It lets you use it whenever, and that's really exciting. You know what? Let's fight the glitch lich today. It's been a little bit. Been a little bit. Been a little bit. Been a little bit since the glitch lich. This is a problem. Why to do this to myself? Tap, tap, tap. I mean, we're gonna hit the boss damage cap, so like, why don't we just like take it slow here? Or we could do this. Honestly, probably get just as good, if not better results, because we can actually see the darn screen. Just a little lich. Just a little lich of my... Alright, let's go, Framey. 
All right, we're, we're gonna be able to one cycle the hard with either of our two weapons and shadow clone for sure. I'd say two weapon. We have a lot. Oh my god. Oh, the slow bullets because of the uh, liquid Valkyrie. Or did we get bloody eye? They're basically the same thing. It's just a, it's like what five percent difference between the bullet slowdown of them. Get yourself out of here! Discord question Lemonade asks Given the option to duct tape any two guns together freely at any time, what would you duct tape? Oh, I mean, I feel like the obvious answer is uh, makeshift cannon with any laser weapon, really. I de Demon Head? Demon Head's a good one because it doesn't use up any ammo. Until it starts firing, but it has an immediate reload. So, that could be a good one. Okay, so we're going to the glitched lich. And if for some reason this doesn't actually take us to bullet hell to the glitch to the lich, then uh, I'm confused. And we, if we get the credits, I'm disappointed. It wouldn't obviously it wouldn't count as a streak loss. It just wouldn't count as a win either if it didn't bring us to bullet hell. Yeah, all right. There we go. Good, 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 good. I always get worried when I do the thing like just a little bit differently than I normally do it. That's going to be just the credits or something. I'm going to ruin it for everyone. I haven't done that in a long time, though. I haven't done that in a long time. I, did I miss gone to, you know, like I accidentally went to... I can't remember the last time I've been to the past, though, to be honest. Like, I just, I don't have strong desire. Like, once you beat them uh, ten times or whatever, they never change. They're not random. They're not hard. After you, you know, after you've beaten them for the first time, they're not hard. And a couple of them aren't even, in my opinion, aren't even hard to begin with. Yeah. So, I, it'd be cool if there was some kind. I, I mentioned this a lot. This is an idea I ha have, and would really love to see someone do something with. Maybe in the modding community, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Which would be like ex floors for the past. Like, just make it so the pasts are actual floors. Like, make a floor out of the tile sets. And uh, and everything, and but make them harder, make them harder. But you do get to keep your items. It would kind of be my ideal scenario, like make make them a short and sweet equivalent to bullet hell. Like you could literally just have use the tile sets and then overrun, overrun the areas with uh, with enemies that you would find in bullet hell. Hell, you could even make it so when you go to the past, instead of going to a past, you go to a retiled version of Bullet Hell. That's just retiled with uh, with their past tiles. That'd be really cool. And I, as far as I know, that's something that's generally within the possibilities of Mod the Gungeon. Generally. I think it'd be cool. The difficulty would maybe be adding... A different boss or adding a boss that's harder you could maybe just up their health but that's just kind of boring up their health and make them jammed it's kind of boring maybe you could give them a glitch glitch boss situation that could be good I don't know it's all, all just thoughts thoughts about possibilities but that would be oh my goodness that'd be a very very exciting mod to just get more get more use out of the pasts because they're so well designed they're so cool but there's just not much of a reason to go back to them yet there a lot of them have some of my favorite visuals of the game like i the question would maybe be like how do you take the pilots and turn it into this i mean you would maybe have to like use a little bit of elements from elsewhere like maybe you could take some rng department tiles and also throw in a little bit of space action. I don't know. I don't know how it would work. 
but you know obviously like the convict or the marine uh the hunter even all of those i could see them really not being too challenging to ad adapt into a tile set uh the bullet wouldn't be hard either robot robot i could see not being too hard either to adapt those tile sets i think it'd be sick as hell my guys my gals of every age pop them oh we don't have red boots i can't believe i actually successfully dodged that probably was helped out by the fact that we were running at one frame a second for that room it was so tiny everything was bouncing around tokyo city like a big playground just spread the cactus plague spread it like crazy forgot we got this sponge I sort of like take less stock in my items when we have uh, like uh, skeleton key, skeleton key, skeleton key. You would think it'd be skeleton key, but it might even just be skeleton. Skeleton key, I think. Uh, when I have an item like that or a key, I feel like I put less stock into my items because you just you get them and I don't even think about it. I don't know. Extra coolness means extra fast charge on the shadow clone. You cannot have more than two clones out. Otherwise. Yeah, bet your boy would. We have we have more than two clones out. Uh oh. Uh oh. This is definitely the framiest I've ever had this get. Let's switch. Let's switch. Switch this. Oh, I forgot we we're on the glitch lich. Glitch lich. Go back to it. I forgot, it's the last phase, it doesn't matter. Oh, we took a lot of damage in the midst of that. Go figure. Go freaking figure. That is a dead lich right there. Oh, man, oh mama, oh gosh, oh man. What an insane run. Maybe the craziest, strongest gunslinger run I've had. Maybe the strongest gunslinger run I've had, I'm not sure. Oh, I'd love seeing this. Oh, it's so cool. But anyways, subscribe for daily Enter the Gungeon videos and more. Definitely check out my other series, by the way. Give them some love as well. They deserve it, I think. <laughs> I, I think. I might be biased. Follow me on twitch.tv slash retromation to catch me streaming games live. Join the Discord to ask questions and learn about the game, talk about the game, etc. Thank you, thank you. See you next time.